This Friday is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Take 5. Aren't you more time conscious because of our isolated lifestyles? Well, I certainly am. Questions fill our minds about future schedules and timeline goals for events and when businesses will reopen. And we wonder about our church worship services and Bible classes and when will they start again. Our verse for focus today is a good one, a timely one about time from Psalm 39.4. Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered, how fleeting my life is. This verse is needed for all of us in order to be wise stewards and managers of the days that God gives, especially now under our challenging circumstances. God does entrust different amounts of material blessings to different individuals to manage, and God gives different gifts to individuals to use in his service. But one interesting thing, God has given to all of us the same amount of time in our days to use to his glory. It's the way that we use time that makes a difference. This is a challenge for all of us because there are so many time robbers and wasters in the world to distract us. In all the aspects of our Christian living, we ask for God's Spirit to guide us in our stewardship of time so that we are intentional and not just drifting through the day from minute to minute, wondering what to do next. Building in some structure to our day does give balance between giving time to things that have an urgent feel demanding our immediate attention, like checking in with our social media contacts or pulling weeds in the garden, and then on the other hand, the important things to be distinguished from the urgent, things that make a greater difference in the big picture of life. Thinking about our use of time each day as a Christian steward does put a different understanding on the use of time, doesn't it? Jesus taught that we are to put first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, which means that we give first priority to the ultimate important things that make a difference now and eternally. As you consider how you'll spend your time this day, think about God's use of time. From eternity, before there was time, Scripture tells us that God planned our salvation by sending his own dear son, Jesus Christ, to be our savior. And that after creation and the beginning of time, when Adam and Eve listened to Satan's lie and they disobeyed their creator, even then God promised a deliverer to defeat Satan and rescue his fallen creation. And then throughout the centuries of history, God repeated his gracious promise through prophets until the time was fulfilled just right, and Jesus was born. In amazing grace, Jesus came from eternity into our time, put on the working clothes of our humanity, gave 33 years of his time on earth to win our forgiveness by his dying and rising, and then his sacrifice in our place that covers all of our offenses, including our imperfect and foolish use of time. And then in time, God also sent the Holy Spirit who worked faith in your heart in order for you to have trust and faith that Jesus is your Savior from sin and now the Lord of your life. And we live between the times also, don't we now? The time between Jesus' first coming and the promise of his coming again. That makes today and every day a gift of God wrapped with a bow of his love just for you. In consideration of what God has done for us, give him first place in your day as the Holy Spirit leads you in joyful response. Listen to him as he speaks to your heart from his heart revealed in his word. And then speak with him in prayer and pour out your heart in adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and prayers for the needs of others. Our daily use of time will also involve 
the needs of others. As we set aside time in the day for those who need a listening ear or our undivided personal attention without interruptions or distractions. This is really needed now, as we spend more time in close family settings, especially with children and youth at home from school, and they miss their friends. They look to us to help them cope with these stressful times as they try to make some sense out of what is happening. And then think about family members who are living away and friends and church members who could use some encouragement. God is always first in our day, and then family and others. But the wise stewardship of time also means each day taking care of yourself. Not selfishly, but to honor God who created you, redeemed you, and set you apart as his own son or daughter. Eating a healthy diet, Getting some exercise and needed sleep are really practicing good stewardship and management of your whole being, body, mind, and spirit. And God surely blesses this wise care of ourselves so that we can serve him and care for others. Time is God's gift to use in a way that glorifies him and serves others. We want to be wise and faithful managers of each day, this day, until time becomes eternity when Jesus returns again. We'll never get today back to relive. So seize the day and spend it wisely. <music>